Hi, I'm Joni Patree, and welcome to my YouTube channel. Well, today I want to talk about an astrological event that affects us all. And it is called the Kala Sarpa Yoga. What Kala Sarpa means, what it translates to is Kala means time and Sarpa means serpent. So it's a time serpent yoga. And what it really does is it is radical extremes whenever this yoga is in effect. And just to give you an idea of some of the people that have it, I tell people that have this yoga, your life is full of extremes, incredible highs and incredible lows. And here's the most important thing to remember for those of you that do have this yoga, is that when you hit rock bottom, you hit your low, you'll always rise to a higher position than before. That's the nature of this yoga. It's extremes. You try to tell somebody about your life and they think number one, you're exaggerating or number two, you're making it up because they think to themselves, nobody can live a life like this. It's just too much but it is an amazing yoga. And what it actually does, because all the planets are on one side of Rahu and Ketu, and Rahu and Ketu, remember, are the north node, and Ketu is the south node. Rahu's the north, Ketu's the south. They're always exactly opposite, this nodal axis. So you'll have planets all dispersed around, but when they're all on one side, this is where they're all trapped. And it's like a karma that you feel trapped and you can't get out. And it deals with what? The materialistic plane. That's what it's all about. So any kind of yogas or Raja yogas, uh, Dhani yogas, any type of yoga is exaggerated to an extreme. So anything in the chart like is pumped up and things of an extreme nature will occur. This is for people that have it individually. And traditionally Vedic astrology does not use the outer planets. So Uranus, Neptune, or Pluto don't count in this yoga if they are outside the reign of Rahu and K2, that's not going to matter. But actually right now, what we have going on is that all the planets are on one side of Rahu and K2. It's quite an amazing time. It's full of extremes. It's full of exaggerations and imbalances. Nature's having to come in and balance everything. The economy, the world is at odds with this COVID-19 virus. So this is just one of the variables that's adding intensity to the world problems right now. So let me just give you an idea of just a few of the people off the top of my head that have this yoga. Then we're going to look at what's going on right now. Well, one that, one that comes to mind is George W. Bush, the, the recent president. He had a Kalasarpa yoga. And let me just say this, his life was extreme, major highs in business, major lows, addictions and problems. But look where he rose to, President of the United States. Guess who else has it? You got it. President Donald Trump has a Kalasarpa yoga. And what's conjunct his Rahu and Ketu is the sun and the moon. He's actually born during a lunar eclipse, but all the planets are on one side of Rahu and Ketu. He went through extremes in his life, to say the least. Hit bankruptcy, had a, going through a divorce, hit his bottom, look where he is today. Rose to a place that's undeniably a high position. Two of the, of the Beatles, Paul McCartney, Ringo Starr, Paul McCartney lost his wife, Linda McCartney, went through some deep, dark times and has risen out of it. Ringo Starr, one of the, the drummer for the Beatles, went through enormously terrible times with addiction and rose out of it. 
Sylvester Stallone, Rocky from the movie Rocky, went through horrific times, even lost a son, divorce, problems, but rose to one of the greatest stars during the 1980s and 90s. So you can see how extreme this yoga can be. So let's talk about how it's affecting us right now. So pulling up a chart for this month of April, you can see that the moon, of course, will go in and out of the boundaries of Rahu and Ketu because the moon will travel through the whole zodiac every month. So for two weeks, it will be contained within Rahu and K2. And then for the other two weeks, it'll travel outside of it, which technically breaks the Kala Sarpa Yoga. But until we have another planet come to the sign where it's outside the realm of Rahu and K2, we do not break the Kala Sarpa Yoga. So we're in this till May till around the end, well, actually till June, because the planet that's going to break this is going to be Mercury. And Mercury, starting around the end of May, will enter into Gemini, but it's still with Rahu. So until Mercury goes into Cancer, which will be towards the end of June, we're going to be contained within the Kala Sarpa Yoga. It is like an intense time with incredible highs and lows. So this, is, this will be a turning point in terms of this problem with the COVID-19 virus coronavirus. It's here and it will be playing havoc on the world, on many places, especially the United States, for till the time of the end, around the end of June. So expect highs, expect lows, expect extremes. Dealing with what? Karma, destiny, that's what Rahu and Ketu predict. That's what they rule. And we have got them containing all the planets. This is a destiny. This is epic times. And of course, you're going to see that in this chart, we have got all the planets on one side of Rahu and Ketu. So from this point on, we're still dealing with it. We still have the problems with the disease, with how to deal with this. Now, Mercury, since it's going to break it, it's going to break it by what? With better communications and by the time it reaches into Cancer, people will start to be able to travel again. Mercury deals with travel and the travel industry, communications. That's where it's going to all start to resume and come back together. So with that, I'd like to close in just letting you realize one of the, of the variables that we are dealing with astrologically in this time, in this crazy time in our world to help you better understand when this will start to be over. So with that, I'd like to close. If you would like my free newsletter, or more information on me or a chart reading, go to my website, sign up for my new, my free newsletter, which is on galacticcenter.org, O-R-G. Or if you would like to better learn Vedic astrology, study with me online, sign up for my university self-paced courses, which is, go to my website, which is university of vedicastrology.com. Thank you.